Well, let's start off with probably the most expensive item. This is a stained glass compilation. It comes from Europe. There's four panels. They're about 18 inches by 7 foot. Uh, really lovely looking when the light shines through. But let's go around and look at the rest of the stuff we have for sale. Uh, there's some antique lamps with crystal on them. If I go around here, you're going to see all kinds of things just kind of laying around. Um, dish sets, globe, uh, pitcher, another antique lamp hanging. Got some interesting pictures, like this one here. Looks pretty Asian. Got a lot of statues. Uh, and again, a lot of this stuff comes from Europe. Very high quality hand painted pieces. Uh, a couple big ones there in back. A lot of uh, lamps. She's kind of cute. Uh, coming over here, we've got vases and mason jars. Here's an old lantern. Those mason jars are uh, tinted a different color, which you don't see very often. And over here on this table, um, there's a lot of porcelain teacups. And uh, some of them are pretty unusual. I like this one with the black roses. Uh, there's a lot of gilding on them. And you can see there's quite a variety. For the person that collects teacups, this is definitely something that they're going to enjoy. Uh, of course, there's little plates that go along with it, too. A couple brass swans. And then back to more teacups out here on this table. Uh, there's also a lot of pitchers. Um, they have matching uh, creamer, sugar container, and more coffee cups. This one's really beautiful here. Uh, some of the oriental looking ones are kind of interesting too. Got uh, some with little lilacs on it. A set of Sildiver Decaters. Thing going around. There's um, some plates that are kind of pretty. A little antique set there. Here's the miniatures we've got. Uh, these are all like dollhouse furniture. Um, lots of dishes, kind of some bird pictures, more pictures. Another antique lamp coming over to the rest of the miniatures. These ones are all the little miniature animals. Some are glass, some are porcelain. Those ones over there are kind of interesting. And some brass ones there. A lot of plates. Hand painted plates. This one's sort of nice. Mother's Day. One from Norman Rockwell or painted Indian scene. Got uh, the quail one back there. It's really beautiful. Um, plates. It look like they're from the Netherlands. And some milk pitchers. This one's pretty too. Not sure where that comes from, but it's quite detailed. Again, more painted images. And then on this table over here, we've got some kind of more cheesy stuff. There's some um, metal painted fun stuff. Uh, we've got there's some dogs, pin money. I mean, for a person that likes collectibles, it's a lot of really fun stuff. I've seen a lot of this at my grandmother's house, so I imagine it's probably more in the age bracket. But if you were going through a storage unit, it would be kind of a hassle because there's so many pieces here. There's uh, about a hundred teacups and saucers, let alone the miscellaneous saucers. And every piece has been cleaned. The stuff that can go through a dishwasher went through a dishwasher. And uh, let's see, we've got this pictures. I've probably seen one of those before too. Going out here, we've got a Kui Lin statue. Made of wood, very old. She's got a nice little brass hanging device there. And then we get into jewelry. 
Some of it's a little newer, but well, most of it's pretty old. Uh, you know, you've got sets, you got costume, you got rhinestones, you got earrings. Uh, here's all kinds of little gugas. This is watches, stones, pins. Oh, and the rings are gorgeous. Lots of beautiful rings. And these ones are a little newer. There are some antique ones in here. But very nice stuff. And we get into the golds. More gold, some gold chains, gold bracelets. Now these ones are a little more antique here. And then again, more, more costume. Let's see, going around, uh, we've got these nice lamps with crystals, and then going up, you're going to see a lot of metal, brass and bronze, and then over on this table we've got more statuettes. These ones are, um, again, done really nicely here. These guys right here, aren't they cool? Mom and Dad. And these guys, really choice pieces. Uh, a lot of these are the wind up. You know, wind them up and they play music. And then, uh, let's see some plates. There's a plate that looks familiar. This one down here is kind of cool. Uh, an old air-blowing device. Here's some bra uh, brass candlesticks, about three and four feet. Got uh, some beautiful purses, one of the few things that's actually made out of, ma of a material here. Old bird cage. Uh, these are kind of interesting. They're, I think they're ivory. So you can see there's a lot of nice detail there. Got the matching knife. And then over here we've got some gold things and some elegant teapots. Now we're getting into the clocks, grandfather clocks. A lot of those. Old brass plate. Got some other metal things, a silver tray coming up, a nice candelabra. Mirror, vases, uh, pots, and then uh, these be birds are really lovely. Ah, one more clock. That's a nice one. This is kind of the medley table here. We've got um, antique lighters, barometers, mustache cup. Um, this is some kind of, I don't know what kind of metal it is. Hard to tell. This, we know, is silver set. Looks like some marking on there, although it's hard to see. Uh, beautiful vases, steins, busts, a lot of uh, silver. Silverware, the actual silver. Another interesting little set, and then those are pretty interesting too. Um, we're going to now go into the next room over here, just down the hallway. Uh, here's some necklaces, a lot of beadwork, a lot of crystal stone coming in. This room we've got some crystal lamps. This is kind of interesting. There are about a hundred hand-blown old pharmacy bottles. And they've all been washed. We've got uh, an old steamer trunk, and uh, on the jewelry in this has been individually wrapped. Well, except for this, this is uh, pins and bracelets. But down here, it's, uh, it's about 300 necklaces, costume jewelry. Not real expensive stuff, but fun. Uh, I've got some paintings here. There. I think a lot of these are just prints. Uh, that's a photo, an old time photo. 
This one is absolutely beautiful. Um, that. We've got some silverware sets, another clock coming up. This painting is amazing. That was uh, just a print. This is really pretty. Garden scene. A couple of guys, flowers, boats, uh, some tapestries on the wall. And then I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see. I have a 4x8 table with just crystal. Um, the crystal that you have is, I think a lot of it's American, but there might be some European stuff in here. Throw in some of the colored glass in too, give you an idea. There's loose crystals, um, salt and pepper shakers, bowls, um, sets, dishware. These ones back here are pretty nice too. Beautiful Decatur. Well, something for everyone. And uh, here's a set against the wall blue glasses. There's some green serving plates. Here's another picture that's interesting. Um, and an Ansel Adams. A little more crystal. And then uh, antique dolls. These actually, these two are not antique. They're new, just as the bears that are there. This guy's kind of fun. A little puppet. Uh, another tapestry. And then back to the dolls um, from many different nations. So the thing I'm saving for last is probably the more expensive of the dishware. It's back in this room here. No barking, guys. It is. This is called Century by Salem, gilded, all the pieces, as you can see there's quite a few pieces there. There's also this dishware, uh, which is hand painted, it's got the emblem of the Freemasons, and this one's not marked, but the other ones say hand painted. And they're actually numbered. Let's see, there's one of them. There. Really pretty. Comes with all kinds of little fun stuff. These individual trays. And then this, uh, oh yeah, coffee cups too, of course. And then this one is really pretty. Look at this tea kettle. And, uh, sugar, teacups, plates. Now this particular stuff isn't marked as to what it is, so I'm not sure, but there's a complete, not a complete set, but a pretty large set of, a, of the pieces with really nice rose pattern. So all this stuff comes from an antique store that was closed 40 years ago. And the person, instead of just selling stuff, decided to um, put it in storage. And so there it sat. And now we're back uh, out. Everything is laid out. It's clean. It's ready for sale. So please give me a call. The number is 206-890-0477. Thank you.